Hello, everyone. It's Tuesday, and we're back for some more Dark Souls. Yes. So, last we left off, I was, uh, killed. Very much so, by an invader. So, now I'm back. Back in the place where I was, and there's another player, well, the ghost of another player up there. So, I say we just get going. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> I think I might have started the stream a bit early. I don't expect a lot of people to be here, but that's okay. That is absolutely fine. Since I'm here, I might as well get started on, well, the first gauntlet that expects, uh, that awaits new players. Those three assholes up there throw firebombs. And we need to run through this very, very narrow bridge to that room. Yes. A room which has uh, at least three hollows in there, and that one, that as soon as we get there, will rush in through the door. Because he's an ass. Just like that. <laughs> but them's just hollows being hollows, so... We shall go inside and attempt to not die. Keyword being attempt there. Right. Let's do this. I got a little panicky and I uh, started spamming dodge roll, which is not good. You should not ever do that. <laughs> Hello. And there's another friend waiting for us just past the doorway here. Cool. I think the hollows from upstairs are coming to get us. We shall be ready for them. Alright. Black fire bombs. I still need to um, go and buy a bunch of fire bombs from um, that trader we met on the last episode. bit of breathing room. And we'll abuse the invulnerability frames from the backstab animation. I have absolutely no shame in doing that. None whatsoever, because if the game is going to throw BS at me, I'm going to throw it right back. Okay, up here we have a Mr. Archer. Well, crossbowman, as the case may be. Eh, I'll deal with you two in a moment. First, I want to go see what these folks are doing. Alright. They don't seem to have noticed me yet. That's good. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Do not fall, please. Thank you. One of their armors and one of their helmets. <laughs> Drummer, that's on Thursdays. And uh, since Jordan is in uh, California right now, we'll see what his time availability will be. If uh, it's not possible, then I shall be doing the stream myself and play some dungeons and dumbasses. Open, of course, to people who might want to join us. Yes. <laughs> Gold pine resin. Mm. Lube for our sword. 
And since we seem to have already procced the uh, spearman, we're going to wait while he um, slowly makes his way towards us. Come on. Come on. Very slowly. Also trying to circle around us. That's what I do. <laughs> I circle around that big shield of yours. Right. <coughs> One of you. Get. Yeah. I saw that coming. How about you? Same thing. Cool beans. <laughs> and, um... Well... <laughs> We could jump there, but uh, there's no easy way out of there. So you could technically go there, but there's no point. Although, there's that barrel. That barrel, which explodes! <laughs> Alright. Cutting it a little close there. Imminent tough enemy. Mm. Oh, it's a black knight. Because of course it is. <laughs> I'm gonna try and kill the black knight. I'm going to fail miserably at it, but I'm gonna try anyway. Oh, that's how you get out of that place. Alright. So if you get stuck there, you can jump here. Imminent fall. Yes. <laughs> at least they don't say, um,. Claw marks on the ground. <laughs> Not entirely sure I um, saw. Although, well, I mean, there are plenty of claw marks and uh, big ones too, because, well, there's this big dragon. Stupid red dragon that likes to uh, harass newbie players. But he, after that little showy entrance he made earlier, we won't be seeing him again until we get to the bridge. The big bridge. Now these black knights, they do have a bit of a story behind them. And every single one of them, at least the ones that um, don't really respawn, that once you kill them they don't show up again, uh, they all seem to be protecting an item. I'm not entirely sure if that's one of the non respawny ones, but uh, it is like a challenge for new players to match themselves up against what is arguably one of the most common and Hardest enemies in the game! <laughs> I got stuck. Goddamn physics. Okay, he's following me now. Let's uh, lure him into a slightly more open area. Like here. Here is good. Shouldn't have done that. That's what I wanted to do. Heal. What am I doing? I'm screwing this up real good. <laughs> Run. Ooh. God damn it. Ah! <laughs> okay. I'm getting scared instead of actually attacking him and just trying to dodge. No. I still don't have the dodges down, so let's not do that again. I mean, I'm still going to go back and try and kill him, because I'm stubborn, but, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so far, so good. 
Fear is your biggest enemy. He says this, he's about to die again. But, till I die, I'm, um, gotta make sure I get reacquainted with the controls here. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. I'm gonna leave them three alone for now. But I am going to kill the crossbowman up here. Because I don't like him taking pot shots at me. And will one of you two please come and see me? Thank you. The doctor is in session. What ails you, child? Nothing? Hey, how about you? One's faster than the other, so I'll take it. Yeah. I was expecting a bit more range out of that sword, but I guess that wasn't going to be the case. Hmm, no. Right. Let's see if I can get the backstab on him this time. <laughs> I doubt it, but I'm gonna try anyway. God damn it! <laughs> Asswipe of a black knight. <laughs> Let's try and keep him up here. And do a lot of that. <laughs> him and that shield. That That's a very good shield, mind you. <laughs> Dodge to the right, not into him. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Round three. Please don't hit me. <laughs> Alright. Are they done throwing their bombs yet? No, not yet. Okay. We shall wait here for a little bit then. Okay, I think now they're done. <laughs> See, if I can do this with these guys, what's... Why can't I do it with the Black Knight? It's too intimidating, I think. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I'm down to four Estus because uh, I didn't kindle the other bonfire. Okay. It's less than ideal, but it's doable. Doable. <laughs> Come on, I just want to get the ring. Once again, I dodged too early. I'm gonna try something a little different. <laughs> I don't think he climbs, but... <laughs> Does he climb? I don't think I remember seeing a climbing animation for those guys, but... Eh, 
Well, he's trying. He's looking at that ladder and he wants to do it, but uh, I guess physics says no. Nah. <laughs> uh oh, yep. <laughs> What am I doing? I should be trying to get up here before he comes back. God, these guys. Should have killed them when I had a chance earlier, but whatevs. <laughs> Yes, yes, there is. You can get to the ring that uh, the Black Knight was protecting from there by jumping down, but I'd rather not. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I do have fire bombs. Not many, and he is resistant to fire, so this might not work terribly well. <laughs> well, won't work at all if we don't hit him. 40 damage is not a lot. Yeah, not a lot at all. I don't care. <laughs> Still had sex, proverbially speaking. There we go. <laughs> and a tight night chunk for our trouble. Cool. Right. <clears throat> Couldn't beat him in a fair fight, yet. But, um, that's the thing about Dark Souls. If you're looking to fight fair, you're playing the wrong game. <laughs> abuse the shit out of it, because it's going to abuse the shit out of you. Alright, blue tier stone ring. And this gives us... When we have low health, it, um... Rare gem called Tear Stone has the uncanny ability to sense imminent death. This blue Tear Stone from Katarina boosts the defense of its wearer when in danger. Yep, increases our defense if we're almost dead. Which it's a good thing if you never, ever, ever see the effects of that ring. It means you're doing great. Or you're getting killed so quickly that it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Anywho, um... I'm down to one Estus, but I'm gonna clear it away anyway, just to be sure. And, uh... Well, there is another bitch of a fight down here. Uh, I don't think there's much I can do about um, old Evil the Rock there. Although I would like his ring. I would like his ring very, very much. A strange creature ahead, yes. <laughs> Hevel the Rock. Old Havel. There he is. That dragon tooth great hammer there. It's, it's literally just a tooth of a dragon that he uses as a hammer. And it's a one-hit KO, even for not terribly low-level characters. So, I'm gonna leave him be until um, at some point in the future, at which point I will return. And unlike Morrowind, this game isn't big enough that I, say, couldn't come back later on and just uh, pummel him. I guess it's not one of these. Okay. Try rolling, yes. <laughs> right, but I took my armor off for, well, two reasons. That sound was annoying me, and the um, second one is because I'm going to have to run after that crystal lizard. Oh, goody. <laughs> I managed to get him before he ran away. Nice. 
So, that crystal lizard gave us some titanite. This is where the Taurus demon is. But I'm down to one Estus. Not that it makes much of a difference, because the Taurus demon, just like, um, Havel down there, would be a one-hit KO for the most part. So... But I do want to try and uh, become human and get to that place. Well, I'm not going to become human. I don't really need to summon anyone for that fight. But I do want my Estus back. Estus is bestus. Cannot kindle well hollowed. Well, isn't that perfect? Hey. Right. And I do move a little bit faster without all that arm. So, bonus soda. And I roll a lot better too <laughs> so yes excuse my raisinness but uh, yes I move a lot better like this it makes it feel a bit more Dark Souls 3 ish in that respect but yeah the movement in combat in that game was so much faster and I guess I Kind of got used to it. He says. <laughs> As he lets um, three hollows basically turn him into his bitch. Right. Not gonna drop anything? Cool. Ew. Front one. Get. <laughs> You back one. Get. Got lucky. I got very, very lucky. <laughs> and, um... This was Dark Souls 2. This is the point where I'd use a life gem instead of an Estus flask. But it isn't. So, here we are. <laughs> In fact, a lot of people would make the argument that uh, wearing armor at low levels in Dark Souls is uh, more disadvantageous. Because the armor you have access to is really great. And... Well, yeah. <laughs> Most of the enemies, even if you're wearing armor, seem to kill you very, very quickly. So... What's the point? <laughs> I'm just gonna take care of these two, because I don't want to get shot in the back. Well, I said I was gonna take care of them too. <laughs> they almost killed me. Right. Two Estus. I can do it with two Estus, right? <laughs> oh yeah, sliding down ladders. That's something you couldn't do if the game wasn't fixed at uh, 30 or 60. Because if you did, and say the performance dipped just a little bit, you would clip right through the floor and you'd be dead. <laughs> Come on, Taurus Demon. There he is. <laughs> Let's do this fight the way it's supposed to be, because I don't think I can beat him downstairs. <laughs> Get running. <laughs> He's already following me. <laughs> no! <laughs> God damn it. Yep. <laughs> ah. 
All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this isn't even the first real boss. <laughs> This camera. <laughs> I can't help but feel like the hitbox on that should shouldn't have hit me. But whatevs. That's fine. I'll take the hit. I'll take it on the chin. See what I mean about that guy taking pot shots from up there? <laughs> That's why he's annoying. <laughs> Alright. We can do this. I've done that fight many, many times, so there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do it. Right, 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 right. Let's get rid of them too. And uh, unlike the second and third Dark Souls, which um, if you killed certain enemies a certain number of times, they would stop respawning altogether. Not so much in uh, regular Dark Souls. Uh -uh. No? No. Okay. <laughs> and he locked me in here with him again. Too soon. Delay those rolls, bitch! <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it's much easier to dodge that wide swing than it is the, uh, like, front poke that he does with his axe. That's annoying. And uh, since I'm being stubborn and refuse to use a shield, that's uh, well, that's not going to help anyone, is it? Taking this much damage right off the bonfire. Let's try that again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I can touch the sign it of the Grave Lord's servant. Yes. Is it one of you? <laughs> I don't really want to fight anyone right now, so. <laughs> but I don't. Actually, that's a thing I could do. I could totally leave my summon sign out by the door, see if someone will summon me, and I'll become human. Run away before Mr. Sniper up in the tower takes a pot shot at us. Really don't want that happening. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> Rory will. <laughs> Be wary of sniper, yes. I wonder if anyone will summon me. I doubt it, but... Oh, that's not the summoning stone, is it? Yeah, you need to talk to Solaire first. That's the stone to leave the things. Oh. Yes. I need to talk to Solaire before we do that. Uh, right, my blood stain is up ahead. Let's kill them too before I get it. Well, I say kill them too. Looks like they might kill me. <laughs> At least we're getting a lot of tight night. We'll get a decent weapon out of it all, maybe. Risky. That was very, 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 very risky. He missed, just barely, but he missed. How about you, dog? I'm still alive, somehow. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> nope. Not good enough. <laughs> I do need to get a pot shot on him from the top of the tower and uh, just try to whittle him down. I just need to get the dodge right, which seems to be my problem. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> too long, I say. <laughs> cool. You know, just in case you decide to follow me, I'm gonna kill you. Alright. Alright, I've hit it with you and your pot shots. <sighs> That's this area taken care of. Now I just gotta beat the boss. It's easy, right? <laughs> it's not even a proper boss. <laughs> uh, I totally beat this game once. Not that anyone believes me right now, but I did. <laughs> well, more than once. I did want to see if uh, anything was um, worth the extra playthroughs in New Game Plus and Plus Plus and 7 Plus and. Disasters are gone after the defeat of the Gravelord Servant. Ah, uh, there was a Gravelord Servant trying to do things, trying to gank people. New people! Yeah. I need to just... Run! <laughs> Run like your mama's life depends on it. Run! <laughs> I got lucky. Mm. 
Stop stepping on me. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. Couldn't I have done that the first time around? <sighs> Huge manatees. And a homeward bone. Alright, cool. <laughs> okay, that's the second non-boss taken care of. And, um... We shall now make our way... To... Well, first we're gonna make our way to, uh, the... Big piggy that's wearing a lot of armor, except... On its ass. So we're going to shove this particular sword right here. Up that piggy's ass. And that this is the bridge I was talking about, so we'll get to that in a moment. Um, first, I want to go talk to this um, grossly incandescent boy right here. Best boy. <laughs> what are you doing, best boy? Uh, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Fred of me. Astora, <laughs> an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead. I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> oh, you shall get no looks from me but love, best boy. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Yes. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined in a land brimming with hollows. Could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not? We just met. What are you talking about? Journey? Yeah. It pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Ooh, there it is. There's the summon stone. That's what I wanted. <laughs> the flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old fading in and out. The very fabric wavers. And relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of jolly course, cooperation. Not ones engaged in it, <laughs> but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> And engage in jolly cooperation, we shall. I'll make a point of it. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Don't worry, Solaire. In my dreams, you are grossly incandescent. And, uh, yes, that's best boy, Solaire of Astora. A lot of people from Asura. <laughs> this door, yes, is locked. We need the basement key for that one. And this is the bridge. Let's see if we can spot the dragon. There he is. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't run away in time. <laughs> Um, you want to shoot some fire at us? Pretty please. I feel like I've been here before. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, we've done this song and dance so many times. Why are you being like this tonight? I heard the roar, I thought maybe it was coming. See, one of those things is the claymore, and I want the claymore because it's a big-ass sword. And I like big-ass swords. <laughs> Anywho, before we get to anything, I'm going to... Yes, I know there's a hidden path ahead. I'm going to do that. And I shall sit at, at that uh, thing momentarily. I just need to first kill this guy.
Come on. And then, really, I was hidden behind the pillar. The physics. <laughs> That's why there are so many bloodstains here. People who weren't hiding in the right place. <laughs> yes, we can't hide behind a pillar. We have to hide behind the wall. And he flies, but he didn't land. Which is kind of what I'm trying to bait him to do. We know the song and dance, Red Drake. Please don't dawdle. <laughs> it was taking a sweet time, but I did wonder if it was going to do it or not. He's being stubborn tonight. <laughs> yeah, no, he didn't like me doing that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to find a way to get my souls back now. Because that's 15,000 souls, I could level up a lot with that. But yes, this was the ladder we just kicked down. So, a little bit of a shortcut. Directly to the bridge where we shall meet our end time and time again. Eh, I can get him to run away. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> the game was kind enough to spawn my souls right here. How nice of it. And another Titanite shard, yes please. I do have the big ass sword now, and my souls. Ooh. Bye. <laughs> so, uh, since I have the big ass sword and my souls, I'm gonna go down here and do a bit of that leveling up. So, in order to use our big ass sword, no, uh, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. claymore, it needs 16 strength, which we have 11. Dang it, that's a lot of souls we're gonna have to spend but they're worth it they're absolutely worth it so level up I do need endurance as well so I can actually move around with my armor 16 there we go and endurance and vitality so we get a bit more health Like this. 698. No. 682. Yeah. And 100 stamina. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We shall do it like this. So now, I'm pretty sure I still can't use uh, this armor effectively because it's that heavy. It still slows down our rolls considerably. But. What if we have the claymore? We're not fat rolling. Even with the claymore, so... I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. How much damage does the claymore actually deal? 103. Diastora straight sword. Better. Right, let's test on these hollows to see how much damage we actually do. 92 on that one. That wasn't a full hit, so... Oh, it deals about the same damage. And it's slower. Mm. Needs improvement. It needs some improvement. It does. Alright. I'll keep using it for now. Though there is one other sword I could try and get. I'm not entirely sure if I have enough 
bolts to do it. Uh, disasters are gone after the defeat of the Great Lord's Servant. Alright, the dragon's still up there. Can't go that way, so we shall go this way. And I wanted to try and pick it a sword. But I don't have enough ammunition for my crossbow. He survived a lot of hits. Hi. Come on. I know you're there. Please don't. 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 Come on. Jesus Christ. Fine. Be that way. Yeah, I can't help but feel like the other sword was doing better. <laughs> Alright. We shall dodge the dragon for now. And tangle with the rats. And get poisoned. Because of course. Okay. Big sword. In close quarters. Not a good idea. At least I got a huge manatee, so... Let's go back. To the thing. And get our health back and not be poisoned. And uh, we'll just go with the sword we were using because, as it turns out, the Astora Straight Sword is pretty good. And I almost died. <laughs> yeah, put that one back on. It's tiny, it swings around better, and it seems to deal more damage, so. I guess, uh, that enchantment, 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 is, uh, doing its job. Alright. Well, I guess these guys are a bit stronger than, uh, their, um, friends we met earlier. So I guess that kind of explains that. Could have kicked them off the edge, decided not to risk it. <laughs> Alright. You assholes. Please don't poison me. I really don't want to have to go back. There we go. And another huge manatee. <laughs> Cool beans, there's a dark knight up on that tower. And someone is ringing the bell. Someone beat the gargoyles. How nice. Yeah, these guys definitely have uh, a lot more resistance. And there's that big um, armored boar that has armor everywhere except on its but <laughs> would be nice if I managed to score a couple of axe stabs. <laughs> First, I'm gonna go see if I can get rid of his entourage. Hi. I know you were there. Oh, that one's already running to go and close the door. That's fine, go and close the door. I can wait. That's one less for me to deal with. Has he closed the door yet? It's still up. Ah, there it goes. Now it's closed. Cool beans. How about you, armored asshole? Come at me, boar. <laughs> Well, he doesn't want to come at me back here. I'm gonna come at him back there. <laughs> I didn't kill him. <laughs> it's 
stick a sword up his butt. <laughs> doesn't want to come down the stairs. That's fine. Up the butt. <laughs> Goodbye, Moore. Okay. Two assholes with crossbows on a ledge. And... There's bound to be more up here. Hello. Yes. There you are. These alluring skulls are, um, well, this whole area was meant sort of like a tutorial to teach you what the alluring skulls do, which is uh, you throw them somewhere and enemies just get drawn towards them. So you're supposed to throw one of these while you're up here into that fire and the boar will try and get the fire, but fire bad, fire burn. <laughs> So that doesn't end terribly well for him. Right. So now, we have to find a way to get across that gate without crossing the gate. Which I honestly do not remember what the way is, but I have a sneaking suspicion if I look around, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Having played Dark Souls 2 and 3, and not touching Dark Souls 1 at all, does this to you. Right. That door leads nowhere. Nothing there. Ah, there it is. There's the way across. Down and under. And that guy seems to be running away from us. But why? What's his plan? Oh, he has friends. He was trying to lure me into a trap. The little bitch. <laughs> no more friends? Was that it? It's just the two of you now? That's fine, I can deal with the two of you. How about you? Oh, no, there was a third one. And a fourth one. A seventh one, if we're counting from the beginning. But what have you? Mystery key! <gasps> How mysterious. Let's see what the mystery key says. Mm, residence key and the mystery key. The purpose of this item is unknown. It appears to be a basic prison cell key. Mm, residence key. Key to a residence in the undead burg. Simple, sturdy. Um... Uh, Simple, sturdy design of the locks in the burg, key, uh, the burg keep out unwanted visitors. But this is a standard key in these parts, and will open several residences. That doesn't seem very secure. Uh, key to the inner door of the undead asylum. Yes. A key to the iron bars on the east side of the second floor of the undead asylum. That is very specific. <laughs> the master key. This universal key opens any basic lock. Yes. Okay, so that item is unknown. It's just a simple jail cell key. I wonder what kind of jail cell it opens. <laughs> right, let's see if I can do this. Oh, that person did it. Please don't fall, please don't fall. There we go. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Platforming with janky Dark Souls physics. <laughs> nothing there. And nothing here. Ooh, a fog gate. <laughs> yeah, this game does do a lot of the uh, fake fog gates. It's like, oh, you've crossed the fog. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh. 
Ah, yes. That Mr. Knight, I'm gonna see if I can uh, backstab him. Right here. <laughs> Just as he starts to move. 200 um, souls, not bad. Not bad at all. So that is one of the new types of enemies that they've introduced, you know, outside of the stupidly big uh, dragon. And that's one of the old types of enemies. And he doesn't want me anywhere near him. Unfortunately for him, I do want to get near him. Very much so. <laughs> right, so here you have two enemies, one on the left and one on the right. The one on the right is closer. But the one on the left is faster. <laughs> That's one of the enemies we just uh, backstabbed back there. And he dropped the helmet. The boulder helm. Why is the visor all the way back there? And why can't I flip it back? Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a helmet I can use without fat rolling, so I'll take it. Right. I do want to make a bit of a stop here to go and kill that asshole that ran away from me to close the gate. This asshole. <laughs> Goodbye. And the basement key. Remember uh, earlier on the bridge where I said that uh, we needed the basement key to open that door on the far side of the dragon? Yeah. This is where it is. Whoever was carrying it around didn't make it. Go figure. Alright. I do believe this is the halberd. Which, uh, a lot of people rightfully uh, think it's like the best weapon in this game. And they do have a point. It's, it, it is very, 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 very helpful. Especially when you have really fast enemies with BS hitboxes. Like that. <laughs> and despite being basic ass enemies, unlike that one up ahead, that one in the middle, yeah, that one, not so basic. But yeah, no, these uh, the boulder knights. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot there was another one there. You put that shield down. You put that shield down because I don't want to get parried. Put it down. You still managed to backstab me. You ass. And not of the atomic kind either. Yeah, that that that's a, that's your parry too. No, no, no. Sorry, we're not having any of that. Not today. <laughs> Two Estes. That's fine. He says. These dudes and their ass talks. No. I shall not let you plunge that uh, really, really thin sword onto my chest. Not after what your friend did to me. <laughs> I always did wonder about that. Like, what's the point? What, 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 why have those broken? It's like, <gasps> it's almost as if you can go there. But no, no, no. It's just to get you to pay attention as to what's happening over there. And you can't even see the item. So. <laughs> there is an item there, but for some reason it's not showing up right now. You can see the glow from it, but the 
you don't see like the the little willow the wisp to indicate that there's an item there. Don't heal. Yes, they are undead. They have Estus. It serves the same purpose for them as it does for me. But they are hollow. And uh, despite me being a little bit shriveled, I'm not hollow yet. <laughs> so now... Do I kill that big knight or do I go to the safety of the um, bonfire? It's a very good question. But the safety of a bonfire has another advantage, namely... Mr. NPC. <laughs> the Andre of Astora that I mentioned earlier when I wrongly called Oscar Andre. And you can hear him hammering away at his anvil forever. That's his curse. S seriously, by the time Dark Souls 3 rolls around, there have been many, many ages of fire. Oh, someone actually got the helmet. Someone actually got the piggy helmet. I didn't get the helmet. That's not nice. <laughs> right, sit at the bonfire. And let's go talk to Andre. Because yes, by the time Dark Souls 3 rolls around, he's still alive, still hammering away. Yes. Then speak to you I shall, but before, teach me your gesture. Hurrah! <laughs> I learned a gesture. Most weapons and armor are mighty sturdy indeed. But every hunk of metal has its breaking point. If you noticed your rivetity running low, it's time to repair. You can ask a blacksmith like myself, or do it on your own with a grindstone. The nice thing about weapons, they never betray you. So pay them a little respect, hey? Look at him. <laughs> he's like the last sane person. And he worships weapons. Anywho, um, I can't really modify anything, so... Reinforce weapon. We can reinforce this one. Ha <laughs> ha. And the claymore. Ha 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 ha. Reinforce it again. Yes. And again, yes. 2,000 souls. Just for one teeny tiny little bit of reinforcement. Fine, do it. And another 2,000 for the second one. Do it! <laughs> right? Well, that's our money. <laughs> Very true. Very, very true there, Andre. Okay, so we have the Straight Sword of Asura, plus two. Instead of dealing uh, 80 damage, uh, 80 regular damage and 80 um, enchantment damage, it deals 96 of each, which is significant. And the Claymore, plus three. Actually, there's one thing I want to check. Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Claymore plus three. If I equip it... Yeah. Yeah. That deals a lot more damage. The Straight Sword of Astora deals so much more damage. <laughs> we shall keep using it then. Don't worry, I'll keep reinforcing that Claymore. Ooh. We do have some. Use all of them. Okay, 1800. What can we buy for 1800? Purchase item. Can buy a Titanite short? Yes. Oh, those are all 2000. Okay. I do want the uh, repair box, at least. <sighs> kind of want all three of those. The Crest of Artorius. 
Well, there's a reason that costs as much as it does. That's, uh, that's something for later. Hey, right. there, there, there are them bolts. And I will want to buy a lot of these as well. So I can chop the tail off that stupid dragon. <laughs> huh. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. It's not a terrible idea at all. We can hold on on buying the other items and just go and chop off the tail of that stupid dragon. <laughs> Use all three of them, please. 1,200 more. And I guess that's all of them hard souls for us. Huh. I arrows, bolts, only sixteen standard bolts. Yeah, no. We're gonna have to buy more. Um, purchase item. Uh, wood bolts don't deal that much damage, but they're also the cheapest. Uh, centered bolts are less than a third of the heavy bolts, and they deal m more than half the damage. So that's the better, the best purchase, right? I had 16, so if I buy 84, we'll have 100. Get yourself, yes, neither of us wants to go hollow. Yes, very good. <laughs> and yes, you can totally go around with a sword in one hand and the crossbow in the other. That's valid. But actually, I don't want to do that. Um, just put that away. Put the talisman back. Not that we're using it, but yeah. Right. Actually, I just noticed. Uh, it's been an hour, so... Next time around, we're going to do a little bit of backtracking. Yes, and we're going to lop off that stupid dragon's tail and hopefully scare him away for, for a little bit. Until... Well, just so I can get through that area and open that particular shortcut. That would be nice. Not necessary, but a nice to have. So, thank you all very, very much for joining me. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. On uh, Thursday, it remains to be seen if Jordan will have the availability to um, do a bit of streaming. If he doesn't, I'll um, I'll, I'll do some Neverwinter Nights. How about that? So if anyone would like to join me for such an adventure, please let me know. Uh, just poke me on Discord. I'll um, try and figure that out. Unless, of course, Jordan is doing something, at which point that's all moot. But we'll see. On Friday... There's a Friday Night Foo Bar with Ven. Uh, join him to play something or other. And of course, Saturday is Linux Gamecast Weekly, the big show. Yes, that's right. Your week of Linuxy content has just begun with a Proton game, but a nice Proton game. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow. <laughs>